Well, how you doing there, YouTube? Uh, just pausing. I'm going to put a quick video. Uh, I have a longer one out that has the police conference uh, today by Ames Police regarding this poor uh, guy's death here. 19-year-old uh, Tyler Comstock was killed by Officer Adam McPherson. Authorized by Story County Attorney Stephen Holmes justified the shooting. I do not stand with that as if the officers felt like their lives were in danger, then why did they uh, total his truck by ramming him? And he wasn't driving erratically, and you know, before the cherries are turned on. The whole high-speed chase or looting or all this whole uh, policy that they have with law enforcement uh, needs to be changed. No more high-speed chase. You're not allowed to pull us over. Uh, you have different ways of meeting up with us uh, later. And... Uh, and doing your investigations the right way instead of at the barrel of a gun, and uh, and the way that you're treating the public is absurd. And uh, this is just a, a family argument. Okay, we got down here. We got the family reaction. Family members told KCCI on Wednesday that Comstock shouldn't have died. They said Comstock had anger problems. They would have returned the truck if officers had stopped pursuing him. They said the officer will have to live with the decision to shoot. He has to live with the, that for the rest of his life. The guilt of killing another person's family member, which we truly love. This guy was no problem, okay? Not the guy who deserved to have his life removed from this planet. And that's what exactly what you chose to do, Adam McPherson. Okay? And uh, like I said, this other video I'm uploading, I, I recorded on a different device, so it takes a little while to render that one up. That I have the uh, police conference on that has the uh, video of the chase itself, so you guys can decide for yourself, you know. Um, uh, should police officers uh, have the authority removed to enforce civil laws? Absolutely. Should they have the authority to carry weapons uh, removed? Absolutely. You know, um, sheriffs can be the guns. You know, if we need guns, then let the sheriffs, the deputies hand, handle things. Uh, and the sheriffs are not handling their counties appropriately and allowing the police to do their jobs. And the police do not have the authority to be armed against the public. These decisions are all made by the county attorney and what they allow their police officers to do. So let's go after this county attorney. If he's a, a, in an elected office, let's get him out of there. Uh, one way or another, he shouldn't have his job anymore either, especially with uh, coming up with a decision of justification so quickly when the public here in Iowa is outraged. You can't even get into the governor's office because of this police conference and everybody has jammed the lines in support of Tyler Comstock and for the arrest and removal of Adam McPherson. All right. And this is not going away. The family should file a civil lawsuit against these uh Police officers and no police organization should bail them out. Uh, but if America, honestly, uh, America, if you cannot recognize cruel and unusual punishment, perhaps you deserve it. And if you're going to tolerate it, perhaps you deserve it. You know, I, I mean, you, we need to stand up for ourselves. I mean, I, I, I feel sorry for, like, poor weak people that can't defend themselves and need a defender. All right? And the police like to play that role. But actually, it's your neighbor's role to take care of each other. Okay? Not to harm one another, to love your neighbor. Okay? And uh, this is not the way that they should have handled the situation. They had pre-knowledge of the situation that would have justified the cops backing off and handling it later. Authorities say the investigation is now complete. And they say the investigation is now complete. This is breaking news and is not complete. We're not closing the case on this. Go ahead and put Mr. McPherson back on the street. That's all I got to say.